want to show you what a power pole micro anchor looks like on a wave runner and how the setup was done. Uh, this power pole micro anchor works great. I can't uh, speak highly enough of it. Uh, the way it's set up, it, it uh, digs itself down real well and I just want to give you guys an idea as to what can be done with the uh, power pole on a wave runner. This is the setup that I have. It's an Yamaha Wave Runner FX, FXHO and I'll demonstrate how this uh, this works. What we do is you take this cord and you plug it in here. I've got that wired to a one two switch and anytime the switch is on it it brings power to the the power pole. And you take your power pole and you put it up here right in there set it in like that and the first time you use your power pole you have to calibrate it and you just press both of those and it'll uh, determine the the smoothness and the depth that it can go and all that stuff so it'll cycle for f about 15 to, to 20 seconds and then you're set to go you can adjust the force on this power pole by holding down the force button and then going up and down and there's multiple bars here that'll indicate just how uh, powerful it's, it, it is and right now I have set at three and that's plenty it'll burrow itself all the way down if you if you want it to in uh, any of the sandbars around here in the Keys so we just pulled up to the sandbar here you press the down button on the remote control and the power pole just sets itself and uh, holds you nice and still here, as you can see. So it's all set now, and we just hit down, <clears throat> maybe twice, and sets it just a little bit off the back there. Um, you cannot pull these up by hand, and uh, there's no so there's no chance of losing it while you're running. Uh, the controls for it, you can either control right here at the power pole, up down. <clears throat> or what I have set up here is a uh, up-down switch I've mounted in the console area of the Wave Runner, and I can control the up-down with this also. <clears throat> now, when uh, when you're ready to use the the power pole, you don't have to do anything. You just hit, pull up to the sandbar and hit the switch down, and it burrows you down. If you want it, if it's very wavy and the wave runner is bouncing up and down, you hit your down button twice and what the power pole does is goes up and down, up and down about 15, 20 times and burrows itself in with the waves. So it's really a neat feature and I haven't had any problems with the wave runner moving once we set anchor at the sandbar. And you get a good, it sticks up quite a bit, um, doesn't, it, it will flap a little bit back and forth, but does, is not in danger of hitting the, the back arch or anything like that. It's very safe, stable. Uh, the bracket that I have mounted on the back, I had custom made, and it has aluminum uh, straight up and down on the back area to uh, secure that power pole micro anchor. Um, and there's really no movement in the, the rack also because you can see how it's mounted here down below. It's really uh, secured to the wave runner. I also have this bracket made so that it's optional that I can also through bolt it if I needed to but I, I don't see a need to do that. Uh, these brackets have been holding really well <coughs> for me so far. Uh, I love the power pole micro anchor on the wave runner. I think everybody should uh, think about it if you have a, a bracket in the back to mount it to and uh, hope this gives you some ideas as to what can be done. And uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, and uh, like. Thank you.